Alright, so this is going to be the second art tutorial video. Uh, we're going to cover body shape on this one for men and women. Um, just to restate a few things, uh, my suggestions or rules for art, I guess, would be, um, don't stop until it looks right. That's rule number one. Just take your time, use as much time to erase as you have to. It's hard to translate things from your mind to paper or your pad. That's just uh, how things are. So take your time, be cool with it. Uh, rule number two, maybe opposing that would be don't be such a perfectionist that it gets in your own way uh, being a perfectionist I think is good but at the same time you have to remember um, my philosophy is that you know the human body for example it isn't perfect uh, therefore art reflects life, life, ref life reflects art, uh, nothing I draw is going to be perfect. There's always going to be something wrong, something maybe I'd want to change, but imperfections are what make things perfect, so I don't go back and change those things, uh, and it can still serve as an example and a lesson for what not to do next time. So, let's draw some body shapes uh, we uh, I would always recommend having a reference say for like a male body you'd want like a bodybuilder maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, for a female body possibly uh, you know a swimsuit model if you're going for that traditional female shape maybe Scarlett Johansson whatever actress is big right now it always helps to have a reference. Again, it's hard to translate from your mind to whatever medium you're drawing on. So, uh, we always want to remember the parts of the body. We'll start with the male body. So, we have the chest, the uh, chesticles, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Not chesticles, that's for women. Uh, we've got the pectorals. That's the right word for it, pectorals. Uh, we've got the collarbone up here. Um, whenever we're doing shoulders, they kind of come off of the bicep. So we'll just draw them as such. Kind of a little trapezoidal shape, I suppose. And there we have chest area and our shoulders uh, for the ribs we gotta rip those come in this probably isn't the best example but like I said take your time this is practicing what I preach showing you hey it takes time ribs especially if you're drawing on paper uh, take your time make sure everything looks right before you start inking everything in if you're going that route the old uh, you know, construction adage measure twice cut once Abdominals come down to the waist. The waist area. Whenever I'm drawing uh, a body, male or female, I like to.
figure out where the groin area is going to be. Just yeah, figure that out. Bring out the waist a little bit. Here, got arms. Arms typically, I think, uh, stop at about the rib area. Like if you look, your uh, your upper arms, your biceps, stop around that point. first video so I'm not going to go too in depth onto that. Of course hands are not my strong suit. So it's, it's kind of a baseline and we can go in and clean this up a little bit. And then we go up here for the neck. The uh, I don't know what you call these off the top of my head, I'm not a biology expert. Um, your, your jugular, your neck, they uh, typically start at the collarbone and go up. And then have the Adam's apple. Go for the traps behind the shoulders here. do faces in another video but there we go for a male body female body uh, same concept females just have a few things that the males don't of course so uh, we'll start just an outline but the chest is usually where I start with go in and clean that up later. Collarbone. Start with the traps now. Instead of later. Women being typically a little bit less bulky than men, but you can change this. Make the guy skinnier, fatter, whatever kind of character you're drawing. Same with the females. They're just going basic skeletal muscular musculature shape here so when uh, chest area so at the ribs in there for me in the back If we're drawing the, you know, Greek statue, uh, the hourglass shape, of course, so we've got, we're starting to come down there, but then the hips start a little bit higher for the men than for the men. So we start the hips stay here, getting that hourglass shape, figure out the hips and the groin area. And again, this is just how I do it. A lot of people uh, do it differently, put more work into it. This is just my attempt to explain my process 
maybe help somebody along the way. Women have a little bit more of a thigh gap than men do. I can show that accurately. It's kind of a side view, not really. Again, they've got shoulders, arm, ends at about where the ribs end, forearm, and hand. Look up here. have a little bit less stronger trap muscles again men typically more muscular than women but we can change that around depending on what you want to draw uh, the women still have the, uh, the jugulars I suppose but they're not always that uh, pronounced with the women of course they don't have the Adam's apple because they don't come from Adam, <laughs> they come from Eve. And then again, just the basic head shape, we'll, uh, we'll go over faces at a later time. We'll probably make that a little bit bigger. It's okay to erase, take as much time as you need. And then for the moment you've all been waiting for, the chest area, the chesticles, the boulders, the fun bags. We were uh, talking, this, talking about this earlier in the Discord actually. Um, Especially when you're drawing spherical shapes, it can be a little rough. Uh, just take your time, make sure they look right. You don't want to draw them too high or too close to the uh, to the collarbone actually, so let's take that back. They usually hang down, they cover up the, uh, the top part of the ribs, depending on how, uh, I'll just say how lucky, or no, I don't want to say that, how, uh, how gifted, no, that's, that still sounds wrong. Uh, depending on what <laughs> size bust that the women ha the woman has um, but yeah so that's just yeah. I'm getting in trouble for this aren't I <laughs> uh, they usually connect next to where the shoulder meets and then we'll just go back and clean this up Covering the ribs, we don't see those. And there. So I think that hopefully is a good uh, help for when you're drawing the body, or just a standard body shape here. Um, but yeah, that is all for now. If you have any other suggestions or requests for uh, things for me to show you how I draw them at least let me know in the comments uh, yeah have a good day